Sinking your feet firm into the floor. So you've got a solid base. And do what you can to release through the shoulders. Breathing in and letting go. Nice and soft and slow. Warming the thighs, warming the arms and shoulders. Now take two of these, one, two, and press. Beautiful, swing for two, press for two. Swing for two, and press. Now just let that sink into your muscles. Don't think about it, press. One more on the other side. Drop the arms. Inhale, lift, show me your hands, sink deeper into the legs, open your chest and come forward. Inhale, big breath in, equally long breath out. Breathe in and lift your chest and breathe out, push forward. Again, inhale, climb up, slowly down. Open up your chest, open up your heart and push. Drop the hands and swing. Sink deeper into your legs. Can you feel those inner thighs, tops of thighs warming up? Now gently bring your feet underneath your hips and lift your arms. Bend your knees and come into your Pilates swings. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, look up. Drop and release. So again, more movement to release the shoulders. Stretch the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Look up and down. One last one. Good. Now leave the arms in the air and go for that full body stretch side to side. Lifting up. And then hold on to your right wrist and push your right foot further down into the floor. <gasps> wow, that's a big stretch. And the other side. Bring the arms down. Roll your shoulders down and just find your alignment. Ear, shoulder, hip and ankle. Brace your tummy muscles, pin your shoulder blades back. Take it into a deep parallel squat, hands on thighs, and just stand. So breathe out, hands on the front of your thigh, and lift. Warm the ankles, warm your knees, push your bottom back and keep your chest up, and breathe in. Two more of those, push your bottom down, and breathe in. One last one. Good, now add in your arms. So take your arms forward, hands in line with shoulders, Drop the arms and push your hips forward. And do that again. Deep parallel squat. Lovely chest opening stand. Deep parallel squat and stand. Good. Perfect. So let's add on a little bit more. Stay down. Take the arms to the side and take one leg to the side. Come back into your squat. Other side, come back into the squat, now stand up and rest. Yeah, so you can see how we built that. Drop, extend, drop, extend, drop, and stand. So just recognize the muscles that are working for you. Thighs, glutes. Brace your tummy muscles so you feel stable. And then drop. Two more like those. A little deeper. A little stronger. Good. Press your feet down. There's your breath in. So you can breathe out. Open to the side. Open the arms, press and stand. Let's leave it there for a moment, take the arms forward. Take one arm back and look behind you and then bring it to the front. 
And the other side, behind, look at it, and bring it to the front. So the arm brushes past your ear behind you and bring it to the front. A little softness in your knee as you do this, so that you're turning, not just the shoulder, but also through your waist, keeping your hips facing the front. So pause, now go the other way. Oh, drop and come forward. Drop and come forward. So the shoulders feel truly warm. The movement feels comfortable. I'm smiling to myself because I'm going to try and go both directions. This is going to be funny. Uh. <laughs> so one arm goes down, one arm goes up. <laughs> Make it look good. <laughs> Make it look sophisticated. And then pause in the sophisticated way that we are and try it the other side. One arm going up. Oh no, no, now, and then, yeah. And again, make it look cool. <laughs> Two more, looking cool. Fantastic, let's leave that there. So the shoulders, wow, they feel really mobile. Press the shoulder blades down, tighten the tummy, and then lift the arms to the side and engage the upper back. Take this knee, to the side, now press it behind. So the big toe's on the floor. Then hold the balance, lift the leg, hold the balance. Fix your eye gaze, find a spot to stare at. Lift the arms, encourage the balance challenge. Can you feel how that engages your tummy muscles a bit more? Extend the leg to the side, turn this palm down, and let this hand come down your body line and line up with your bottom leg. Look at your foot and tip. See how far you can reach. Superb, wow, good, stay there. Okay, climb up, take the foot behind. Tip forward, it's called aeroplane stance. Then bring your hands to your back leg and dive, dive down. Lift the back leg higher, turn the hip out, and bring the chest lower. Good, land the foot. Kick out the legs, roll the shoulders. Perfect, and open the arms. Pin the shoulder blades back. This knee turns to the side. Can you feel how that opens the hip? Now press the foot behind. And when you're ready, lift the foot, hold, pause, tighten the tummy to hold your balance. Then lift your arms and hold it there. If you can, the challenge is to look up. Perfect. Extend the leg, yay, wobbly, but it's not a problem. So let's turn this palm down and take the other hand down the length of your body so your palm faces your leg and see how far you can tip. Good, so if you look forward it'll be easier, if you look down your leg it will be harder. Squeeze your bum and push your hips forward. Give me a little bit more and then climb up. Take the foot behind, arms to the side, you can put the foot on the floor or lift it when you're ready and tip your chest forward. So you're in that lovely long line from crown of head to heel of foot. Bring your hands into your body and lower your chest. Let's dive, dive into that. Turn the hip to face the front and keep diving. Now land, safe and sound, release your feet. Lift this arm, breathe in, and lift the opposite foot, knees together, quad stretch. Slowly start to tip forward. So the reason we do these stretches 
is so that we feel mobile, the joints feel happy, and it optimizes our Pilates performance. Hand to front thigh, back leg up a little higher, feel your way through your stretch. You can use a chair, you can use the wall, you can use a small child. <laughs> this time, take the arm to the side and the knee to the side. So there's a big L shape in your legs. Again, push the heel away from the bum and open the arm. So there's this little movement all the time, opening the chest, opening the hip, and then when you're satiated, land. Land your feet, roll your shoulders, breathe deeply. This arm in the air, shoulder drops, pick up the other foot, Level one, knees stay together. Brace your tummy muscles, I promise it'll make such a difference to your balance. If you're ready, tip. Push your heel away from your bum and hold, hold your stretch. We want to maintain a stretch, you hold it for about 15 seconds. If you want to develop the stretch, it's more like 30 seconds to a full minute. So bring your knee back in, your arm to the side and start to work not just the hip, not just the thigh, but also the hip. So there's the L shape, get your balance and then start to travel slowly. Opening across the chest, opening down through your abdominals, opening through your thigh, Good, small movement, and then land. Work through your feet, so your shoulders are warm, your hips are warm, you're feeling strong. Come back into a parallel squat, arms in front. Take one arm up, center, other arm up, center. Now take the arms to the side, palms down, and stand up roll the shoulders. So this is just my cunning plan to hold you in that parallel squat for a little bit longer. <laughs> Stand up, roll the shoulders. Such a good way to tone your legs and your glutes. One arm up, other arm up, arms to the side and stand, roll the shoulders. Keep going, hands in front, breathe out. Breathe out, lift to the side and stand. Good, drop into the squat, one arm up, other arm up, arms to the side and stand. Roll the shoulders, recalibrate. Two more, parallel squat, one arm up, other arm up, arms to the side, and stand. One last one and we'll move on. Parallel squat, arm, arm, to the side. So good arm work, no hand weights, just your own body weight. Turn this way and bring the leg nearest me up into a knee lift. So that's the leg nearest the stage or nearest knee and step that foot all the way back. Bend the back knee, chest up, eye gaze out in front of you, hands on waist. Step the foot in, lift the knee, step the foot back, heel up and bend the back knee. Step the foot in, knee lift. So like everything we do, we just set the pattern. We set the flow. Precision is important. So when you lift the knee, brace the tummy so that you can stay still. When you step back, lift the heel and bend the back knee. Step in, knee lift. Step back, 
heel up. You're ready to use your arms. Step in, arms forward, knee lift. Turn the palms up and pull the elbows beyond your waist five times. So palms up, forward. Palms up, elbows back. Two. Three. Four. And five. Arms go forward. Leg goes back. And open the arms as you bend the back knee. And do that five times. So arms forward. Arms open. Two. Arms open. Three. Good, so you feel this in your back leg, the leg that stepped behind you, and you feel it in the quad, not the knee. Five of those, step the foot in, palms turn up, knee lift, so give me a knee lift as the elbows push past your waist, one. Elbows push past the waist, two, slow and steady. Yes, good work, three, he says falling over, four, you can put your foot down in between if you want. Five, okay, step back, heel up, arms out. Five, good, arms out. Four, squeeze the shoulder blades. Three, all in the back leg. Two, and one more. Step in, palms up, knee lift. Elbows back, one. Knee lift, elbows back, two. Knee lift, three, good. Four, last one, five, step back. Arms open, bend the back knee, one. So you're like a little matchstick person and you're all aligned, ear, shoulder and hip and knee. Line up, eye gaze up. We'll do it one more time because I can see you're having fun. Palms up, knee up, elbow beyond, one. Four more, elbows past your waist, two. Three, not the happy sound of children, four. <laughs> Five, leg goes back, last time. You're looking strong. Bend the back knee, arms open. Bend the back knee, arms open. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest. In the miracle that is fitness professional, face the front by pivoting on your feet. Yay! Let the arms go, roll the shoulders. Perfect, let's do a little bit of mobility move before we go to the other side. Arms up. Bring the hand across and you can move the feet if you want. Bend the knees or straighten and let the arms drop. Lift the arms, pivot on your feet and face the front. Go the other side, hand to hand, hand to knee. Climb up and open. Follow your breath. Breathe out, inhale, drop down. See if you can go a little bit closer towards your leg, towards your ankle. Open your chest, breathe in, over, drop, let it go, hang out, climb up and open. Just one more each side and let's really get that breath together. Exhale, breathe in, drop, exhale, open, breathe in. Other side to finish. Completely exhale, let the breath leave the body and fully breathe in. Bring your hands onto your waist again. Bent knees will make this easier, straight legs will make it harder. I'd like you to tip forward, leading with your chest. This is a flat back extension and then slowly climb back up and do it again. That's all I want you to do. Bent knees will make it easier. It will take the pressure off your hamstrings. Bent knees will take the pressure off your bum and your back. Okay, so cautionary note, you do you. Keep that going. What you're looking for 
is your bum to push back, your chest to push forward, and your spine to be lengthened. What I often see is this. And what you want is that. So if I have the teaching point of pushing your chest forward, it will help you to appreciate the length of your spine. Ear, shoulder, hip, everything lines up. So this time let's include the arms. Arms drop, one arm to the side, lower. Other arm to the side, lower. So you're getting once again the function of the upper back. Shoulder stability. And as you get tired, you'll start to crumple. Thank you. And when I say crumple, it means that you'll drop to the floor or your shoulders will start to round. So give me five with both arms and adapt. Maybe you need to bend the knees. Maybe you need to stand up. Pressing the chest forward, the bum back, the length of the hamstrings. Last one. Come all the way to the floor and drop your head. Let gravity open up your legs, your spine, your neck. Bend the knees and climb up. Perfect. Kick out the legs, do what you need to do. Turn this way. Bring the front knee, the leg nearest knee, up. Bring it to the floor. Slide it behind you and bend the back knee. What you're looking for is a pathway. Lift the knee. Step the foot back. Bend the back knee. And the pathway is a neural pathway through your nervous system and a muscle memory. So, you get to the stage where you don't need to look behind you. Your muscle remembers. Heel up, bend the back knee, then add in the arms. So I'm gonna bring the arms forward, palms up, <laughs> knee lift and press the elbows back. Knee lift, elbows back. Three, Chest high, four, five. Step the leg back, well done. Open the arms, bend the back knee, one. If you were to lose one of your senses, if you were to close your eyes, where are you feeling this work predominantly? If it's your front leg, you are leaning forward. Step in. Elbows beyond your waist, knee lift, one. Elbows beyond your waist, two. Where are you feeling this predominantly? Quad, front of thigh, shoulder blades, chest, breath. Step the leg back. Work the back thigh, so get your technique. Ear, shoulder, hip, knee. Open the arm, bend the back knee. Make sure the weight is off of your front thigh. How? Because you're upright, you're not tipping forward. Look at your hands as they open. Line the arms up with your shoulders no further. Step, step in, knee lift, elbows back, one. You're in flow. Two, you're in physical flow. Your muscles know exactly what's required. You're stabilizing your spine by recruiting your abdominals. Step back, strong back thigh, means happy pelvis, hips and glutes. Arms open, chest up, and you're in flow again. Good. How close to the floor can you get with the back knee? Are we allowed to do one more because we're having such fun? Lift the knee up, two, three, good, four, any movement like this requires deep core stability, leg goes back, 
back leg strong, arms open. So take the hands no further than your shoulder. Some of you are taking your arms too far back. Hands in line with shoulder. And then with the magic of science, pivot on your feet and face front. Superb! <laughs> Bring your feet in, kick out your legs, hands on hips, and do a little bit of recovery move for your hip. Circle one way, and circle the other. You're in control. How big the circle is, is totally independent to you. Try the other leg. Circle one way. Release the hip. Stabilize, my lovelies. Now the other way. So use your core at all times. It's not, we're strong. <laughs> we're using our abdominal muscles to hold us. Yay, and then the work is isolated in your hips. Roll your shoulders down. Climb up onto your toes and breathe in. Press the heels down, chin to chest and breathe out. Drop towards the floor. Good, oh, feel those hamstrings. Now climb back up once again. Knees bent will make it easier. Straight legs will make it harder. Come to the back of your mat. So you've got the length of your mat out in front of you. And do the same thing. Climb up onto your toes, breathe in. But this time, roll forward, stretch your neck, stretch your back, stretch your lower back, stretch your glutes, stretch your hamstrings, pause. Look along your mat, pad forward. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. I want to, but I'm not sure I'm going to be allowed to. Lift one leg and lower. Not that high, Gail. <laughs> Just a little bit. Good. Now put the knees down. Now push your bum back. Perfect. So we talked a lot about alignment. Ear, shoulder and hip. Let's practice that. Onto your hands and knees, tighten your tummy, curl your toes, watch my bum, you can't miss it. Keep your hips down. Yeah, and when you lift one leg, it's a small lift, look forward. Put that foot down, look, lift the other foot. Put the foot down, put the knees down, and push back. Find that flow in the same way that you've done with everything else. Inhale up onto your hands and knees. Exhale, curl the toes, lift nothing but the knees, not the bum, bring the bum down. Breathe out, lift one leg, lower, breathe out, lift the other leg, lower, chest forward, knees drop, bum goes back. Of course you can do this on your knees, you don't have to come onto your toes, same thing. Hands underneath shoulders, curl the toes if you're working on your toes, lift nothing but your knees, your bum stays down. Lift one leg, so you're lifting the foot so it lifts no higher than your other heel. Then drop, and push back. Let's do two more. Breathe in, climb up. Exhale, find your posture. Breathe in and then exhale to lift. And drop back and release. One last one. Inhale, find your body flow. Exhale, find your posture. Do you feel yourself getting stronger each time you do this? Abdominal work, leg work, 